you're supposed to remove all your clothes like from the waist up so i removed my jacket my bra you're not supposed to have any necklaces your bra should be off your hair should be up hello welcome to another episode of Teso gamba up clothes this is actually an intro for a series of videos that i want to start doing and i want to start doing them today if you have watched some of my vlogs then you know that i am married and i want to start applying for a uk spouse visa now when i was searching online for i think tutorials and just to see kenyans who've done it all i found were very few videos and i don't think i have seen a spouse visa tutorial that has been done by a kenyan honestly i don't think i've seen any the only ones i've seen are for nigerians they are helpful but honestly i felt like a tutorial for my Kenyan will be much better because I relate to a Kenyan more. So I decided to actually document my process because I am officially starting it. While I did start it like by just doing the online application, the first part, which I am yet to even review, I think. But now that I'm officially starting collecting documents and all that, I wanted to document it so that in future someone might use it you know when they are looking for information on this particular subject or if they are actually applying for a spouse visa themselves themselves yeah let me tell you it's a long process i have not gone through it i have just watched videos read people's stories and yeah it's not easy it's a long one so what i am starting with is a tuberculosis test now because i'm from kenya i have to submit a negative test certificate for tb and this does not apply to every country it's for specific countries kenya included so tomorrow i am going to international organization for migration iom to get my tb test migration health assessment center so this is in karura united nations crescent I have no idea in Nairobi so I saw an option to book online so I decided to do that I don't know whether that is a problem I will find out tomorrow I guess but you can walk in and book an appointment that is according to the information on their website or you can book online so I booked on May 23rd and I booked 20th June which is tomorrow I am recording this video on 19th June so I'm going tomorrow to get my TB test Hopefully, I'm negative. Though I heard that they usually... Oh, I just remembered my, my pajama has like a hole here. Okay, someone said, or rather I heard that you go for the first day and then I don't know they do what and they had. Then you're supposed to go back home and wait for something to happen and then go back to IOM and they look at it and they decide whether you do further testing no further testing is the chest i think chest x-ray so once they look at whatever they would have done to your hand they will know whether you need further testing or whether that thing is enough honestly i don't even know how to say it because every time i ask people about it they explain and i never get it yeah so that is what i am expecting to happen obviously i don't have the whole picture and i have not bothered to google like find youtube videos on it because i'm very sure i won't find any especially from the people i am interested in that is kenyans so i will just go with that very slim knowledge of that thing in the hand going home coming back chest x-ray and then i will tell you how it goes one of the people close to me told me that i will also need certificate of good conduct so i applied for it my appointment was on 15th june which i already went um, they took my fingerprint and I'm waiting for my certificate now and they said the certificate takes one and a half months so I guess the good conduct was my first document to try and get but not really because I don't think it's a requirement whoever was telling me about it she was telling me what she did because she had to look for our good conduct and all that so from what i have read online about the uk spouse visa i haven't seen anywhere about a good conduct but me i like to be on the safe side so i did apply for it 
and they say it will take one and a half months no i don't think it can take that long like this will be my second certificate and the first one didn't take this long so yeah my tb tomorrow after the tb test i will have to do my ielts which i have booked an appointment as well there's english this test in there okay so i have booked an appointment for that as well which i will talk more about when we get to that point this time let's just get done with the tb first the tb test i get my negative certificate and then we go for the english test and hopefully i pass so that is just two of the many documents that i'm supposed to get and i will actually take you through the process with me so that you see the documents i am getting and what you will need if you want to do the application and if you are in the process of doing the application all the best <laughs> where did that come from anyway so right now i just want to get ready for tomorrow because my appointment is at 12 noon and history has shown that i am a very lousy person in terms of waking up i wake up very late that is because i never sleep at night i sleep at around five so obviously i'm gonna wake up at around 11 and 12 and all that so i'm just um organizing my stuff clothes that i'll wear tomorrow and i just got dinner that i'm about to eat it's 8 p.m now i want to eat early and try to catch some sleep which i know i won't until 5 a.m and we'll see you tomorrow Baby girl, let the ice break. Give you all what your life is. I know what I say. Give me baby girl another night. When you want something, come on, you can ask and I never say no. You know what I say. Upgrade and nice, I can get you some. I met a girl from the UK. She had a damn, she had cute. I tell her, come if she wanna see me. She love the green and she love when it rains. She said, bring up the money from the AT. I'm going to get my chest x-ray. I've done registration. Now I'm just waiting to get my chest x-ray. You're supposed to remove all your clothes like from the waist up. So I removed my jacket, my bra. You're not supposed to have any necklaces. Your bra should be off. Your hair should be up. So that it doesn't go to your neck. <laughs> so now I'm just waiting for the next step. <laughs> Follow the exit here. Yeah. Okay. So that's the idea. Tag. Uh huh. And then you can come yourself for uh, that. Uh, the, the passport. The passport. Oh. Really... Okay. Test update. So I just got back home from IOM. Obviously, I had to run some errands as well. But here is what happened. I had an appointment at 12 noon so i got there at 12 or 3 so i got there at migration health assessment center okay the first one i would say the gate you have to show them your passport and then they check you in and they give you a visitor's tag after that you go inside and that's lady at the very first reception if i might call it that asks you if you have taken any painkiller within the last eight hours if you're pregnant and other questions that i honestly don't even remember and then after that another security check-in where you also show them your passport and they give your form depending on where you're going or what you want to do because i realized iom conducts these tests for like a lot of countries from canada to australia to the us and uk i don't remember any other country but yeah once they figure out which country you are going to they give you a question 
questionnaire which was supposed to fill. I went to the reception and I was given another form, a form with payment details. So I paid 15207 via M-Pesa pay bill. So after paying, I was told to fill the questionnaire. So the questionnaire, you just fill in details your name, passport number, what kind of visa you're looking for, whether it's a student visa, work visa, spouse visa, and all that. Your address, current address, and permanent address, I think. And then they also ask for your sponsor's address and your UK address. So like for me, my sponsor's address is also my UK address because I'm going to stay with my husband. So for students, maybe your school's address. For work visa, I think, the organization or company you're gonna work for you enter their address honestly i don't know i just know about my visa so yeah address and all those basic details and they ask you whether you're pregnant so you're supposed to either take care yes or no no email phone number you know this basic stuff so before i even continue make sure you carry a pen i had to ask a security guard to help me with a pen and then be on time as of now i'm recording this video on 20th june they operate half day up to 2 p.m so you have to be on time when that guy gives you the form with the details for payment, they also give you a token. You know those tickets you get so that you can be served. I got a token and then I had to wait. That room where I was waiting, there were a couple of people, I think five. The place is not that packed. They are orderly. The people who are there have an appointment. But I waited because every person has to be served and it's not like a one second kind of service so one person takes like 10 minutes or something like that after entering all your details just make sure that all your details are as they should be you take your passport picture and then you go now to get your chest x-ray which is the tb test yep turns out i was misinformed or maybe things have changed because i was expecting that thingy on the hand i even asked the doctor so when will i get the thing on the hand so i can observe it and see whether i have to be or not and he said i don't even know what to talk about <laughs> but later when he caught on and he said it's a skin sick test something i went for a chest x-ray it's pretty straightforward honestly once you're done with registration i didn't even wait for long for like five minutes I was already called in. They tell you to remove your clothes, like from the waist up, including your bra, to make sure your hair is held up high so that it doesn't fall on your neck. And remove any necklaces that you may have. They want this place from your neck to your waist to be free. I removed my clothes. Then I went to the x-ray room. Yeah, and then you stand against some machine. Then you have to press your chest against the machine for less than five minutes. I was done. So they say if your test is okay, you get your certificate same day, like immediately. But if they notice some problems with your chest, then you have to do three sputum tests. And the first test begins seven days after your chest x-ray. Yeah, and apparently if you actually have TB, you have to get treated and become better before you are able to apply for a visa. So I was really praying that I didn't have TB. So we went upstairs to get our results. Obviously, that particular part of the process did take a bit of time. The waiting, I went there at 12 and I was getting my results at around 3. I think because of the waiting at the first reception for registration and then the waiting now after your chest x-ray has been done and I will have to wait for your results because it's a lot of people waiting. So I did wait for a couple of hours. Okay, maybe one, I'm not sure, maybe I'm, I'm exaggerating, but I did wait. I had not eaten the whole day, so I was very famished. Like, I was dying, literally. So, when you go, make sure you have something to distract yourself. Maybe it's an online game, maybe you like to read, to watch something, just go there prepared. But I don't know how the day will be, I don't know how the place will be looking for you. Maybe there won't be so many people. I'm just giving you my experience. Of course, I was called in and they asked you whether you've ever been treated for TB before. For me it was no. Whether you've ever come in contact with someone with TB or suffering from TB, also no. Then the doctor told me, oh you, your chest x is normal. I almost jumped because I was just trying to now imagine if I had an abnormal chest x-ray i'd have to do three pattern tests and i have to pay for them in addition to that they said it takes around 10 weeks to be cleared you know to get a tv sat 
if they suspect you have TB and they start the process so I was very happy when they said that my chest x-ray is normal so I was told to go for my certificates which I did obviously you have to confirm your details and sign here and there make sure you confirm the details like take your time with that certificate and make sure all the details are in there the way you want them personally I realized that they put my permanent address and they wanted my current address so I had to go back to the reception to tell them that I need my current address on my certificate, not my permanent address. Maybe it's a small thing, but personally, I want my details to be uniform in everything. And I'm going to be using my current address in my application on my documents. I didn't want my permanent address there. So I went to the reception, they changed it, and then I came back and they reprinted the certificate. And now I came back home with, with my certificate. And that is the process I went through to get negative TB test certificate. I don't know whether this is the same process you'll go through when you're applying for yours. It will depend on the time you're applying for yours. But that is what happened with mine. Just be ready and go there with your passport. Don't forget it. Please, you have to wear a face mask. To get in and the staff there they are so friendly the people are so friendly like if you're in kenya you know how you get treated when you go to a government office or you're trying to seek a government service the way those people just treat you and talk to you and all that and when you go to such an office i was expecting people to be there they usually are at government offices but it turns out it's not a kenyan government office so people there are actually nice and they are patient with you they explain stuff if you have a question ask in fact i felt like i was asking the doctor a very stupid question when i was asking about that thing and he was so ready to explain and tell me the difference between that yeah i don't know what to say anyway see you in my next video of maybe me getting doing my english test